Prepare yourself for the best show ever.
That shirt cannon wasn't set as a nosebleed section. That poor dude in the front row. He'll live, but not well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was really good. Hey, but, you know, I'm like your guy's biggest fan. I mean, you all sounded so awesome. Thanks, man. That, that really means a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I missed most of the set because I was outside, uh, but from what I heard through the wall, it sounded amazing. Uh, thanks? Did you guys play dinner with a rusty lawnmower? Man, I bet you open with that song. Dude, I don't think that's one of our that songs. That guitar solo's out of this world. Did you play Intestinal Explosion? Hey man, you know where tumultuous, tumultuous Ramification, yeah. I followed you guys for years. That song, Attack of the Nosebleeds, got me through junior high. Dude, I think you've got the wrong... Do you guys do, like, private parties and stuff? Because i got this thing coming up that would be totally killer for you guys. All right. But, dude, we're not the Oh, band. man, I mean, it's going to be out of this world. It'll be, like, all your biggest fans there. I'm talking bouncy castles. I'm talking bobbing for apples. I'm talking magicians. You guys are going to love it. It's uh, it's not coming up for about uh, 18 to 19 months from now, but I'll go ahead and get you booked, okay? Sure. Sweet, sweet. Could I, like, make a request? Could you play some of your old songs and stuff? Like, your new ones are totally rad, but... You know, I have a soft spot for those old songs. Can I also get a picture with you all? Because that would be totally sweet. Awesome, awesome. Well, hey, like, how much are those shirts? I really like that purple one. Well, that one is, like, $25. Oh, but... yeah, that's a little much. Well, how about the... Do you have a hat, like, over to the side of you? There's Their logo looks really cool. you have anything like that? Yeah, we got this one right over here. Okay, well, I got to head out. So hit me up on Swinogram, and uh, we'll be in touch about that party show. Huh? I guess we're changing our name to Tumultuous Ramification and playing that show. I mean, I don't think we can do any better than that. I mean, a magician? I think that guy thought I was a dude. As long as I get some root beer in me, I'm cool. Yeah, you know, the sad part is, that was my brother.
Congratulations to everyone for sticking here for so long. I know it's only been a couple of months, but you know. So, I know we got a lot of things coming up, like Audrey's Quinceanera, and that radio show with the one guy no one's ever heard of. What else do we got going on? My brother just got out of jail, so that's nice. I think uh, someone's trying out for rhythm guitar today. Heck, I think I saw him out in the driveway. Hey, guys. How's it going on? Thanks for letting me try out. So, do you guys have, like, a guitar I can borrow or something to show you my skills? You didn't bring your own? <laughs> nah. I actually don't own a guitar right now, so I've been practicing all week on air guitar. All right, dude. Here you go. <laughs> Thing. I think I heard a couple distinguishable notes. Yeah. Pass. He seemed like he had a nice personality, at least. Pass. <laughs> pass. Uh, pass. I think it's pretty safe to say he's not going to be a part of this band. He did smell nice, though. Eh, moving on. All right. Uh, I think you said something about uh, fan mail or something? Oh, yeah. Look. Here it is. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh... All right, uh, this is from uh, Chad. All right. All right, Chad, thank you for the letter. It's, it says, why? Yeah, that's, that's like all it says, man. Whoa. Huh. All right, who wants to answer this bad boy? Give me that. Or Ray. Because. All right. Done and done. All right, all right, all right, okay. Please tell me that's not the only one. Oop. Okay, so we got number two here. We got number two from Karen. All right. Karen says, <laughs> all right. Dear Tamoritus, my son Trevor is your biggest fan Aww. and has listened to all your albums. All right. However, I wish he wouldn't. Uh, he does nothing but eat pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, talks about things that are rad and plays cringy music he calls black metal at all hours of the night. Please just stop. Sincerely, Trevor's mom, Karen. Okay. Give me that. Dear Karen, thank you for your letter. We want to sincerely apologize for being so rad that we've taken over your son's brain. We understand there are important things like partying, drinking sodas, bowling, and chilling at the mall. They're just as important. We hope to inspire your son on the more important things in life in our new record. Stay gnarly, Timoritus. Son, did you take all your medicine? Yes, Mom! Even the suppository? Jeez, Mom, I'm in my meeting! Well? Yes, Ma, yes! Okay, have fun in your little meeting. I'll bring you snacks later. Dude, what's the suppository for? It's just this... It's, it's just this thing, all right, man? All right, new topic. So, 
We really need to write a hit song with a hook to get people to listen to us. Okay, we gotta start getting followers. Guys, I think we just have to ask this question. Do we even gent? Nah, pop punk is where it's at. I mean, think of the mall chicks. Dude, we want to aim a little bit higher. I think we want to go for that sophisticated crowd. I'm thinking math core. I don't know what y'all are talking about, but I think we need to have some of that southern charm. That's what the people really like. Guys, no, I just... No, I no, think no, 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 no,
contact Mooney. There's a Tim or Addis here to see you. Uh, 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 send him in. Dude, watch out! Oh, uh, oh, 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 I am so sorry, uh, dude. Don't worry. Oh, that was man, just my what? great grandmother's urn. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was just my dad. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Boys, sit down. Oh, and girl. Sorry, Dame didn't see you there. Hmm. Anyway, I wanted to bring you guys in because I love your sound, and by I, I mean my lawyer's son. I trust his opinion well because, you know, his family's gotten me out of a ton of lawsuits over the years. <laughs> really, his whole family's a gold mine to me. Skit. I mean, could hear some big names out there to see things our way. You guys know Phyllis Corbin, right? Yeah, she's good friends with my wife now. <laughs> they planned my last birthday party. So, bro. I'm you, not your bro. Your sources really like our sound, huh? Oh, yeah, no question. We the label would love to have you guys. And, and girl, to be a fixture at this label for many, many years to come. <clears throat> as long as you guys make us some money. <clears throat> wait, wait. What was that? What was that last part? No, oh, don't worry about that. It's just legal talk. Far too boring for exciting young musicians like you all. So, like, if we sign with you, what's in it for us? Like, what do we get? Good question. Great question. Honestly, that's such a handsome question. I'll let you in on a little secret. You would get everything. Dude, does that mean we get our own, like, private planes and stuff and, like, our faces on lunchboxes? It means what it means. Everything. Everything. <laughs> Is there an echo in the building? <laughs> uh, of course, it would only be fair for us to get a small cut. I mean, a super small cut of the profit for helping you all out. Let's say <clears throat> uh, somewhere in the ballpark, 89%. Dude, that's like way more than we were like thinking, bro. Oh, it's completely normal for label contracts to be set up this way. I mean, we're using all our resources to get you out there and in front of the public. Uh, it'd be what's really fair. I, r I really don't know about this, guys. What's there to think about? You guys just keep doing what you're doing, writing great songs and making records. Of course it would be in everyone's best interest if you know you change your song styles. J just a little. Like how? Oh, with this snap face and Insta Twitter generation, you need to be a little brighter. Louder. Again, j just a little. Have you guys ever thought about including more rap in your songs? For, for a broader appeal, of course. Yo, man, I don't know if we can do that. Metal's like in our blood. It's like our passion and junk. Passion. <laughs> passion. Passion only gets you about 10% of the way there. The other 90 is songwriting, charisma, and money. <laughs> of course, we have and can give you as long as you make it worth our while. We just need more songs about life in the ghetto, growing up in the city, and terrible parents. You know, things kids can relate to, superhero stuff. We don't know nothing about that. All we know is metal. Metal? What's metal? Times are changing, and being just one genre isn't gonna cut it anymore. You guys ever heard of Josephine Adana? Yeah, well they've been blowing out the charts for this year with their signature reggae rap bluegrass sound. No one is just one genre these days. You gotta mix it up. Stay current. You know, here. Yeah. Then there's Snooty Toots, who, God bless her, is really getting hammered because she refuses to change her sound to sell stuff these days. Dude, <laughs> we don't want to be sellouts. We just want to eat pizza and headbang. Sellouts? You guys wouldn't be sellouts at all. You'd be entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs? Yeah, that's right. Entrepreneurs. It's such a fun word to say, right? Well, you'd all be that word and so much more if you just signed a contract. Because you've been making it on your own. A little hope from us, of course, on the label. <clears throat> you keep saying a lot of things under your breath, dude. And how do we know you're going to represent us well? Oh, no question. With all the money we be dumping into your campaign and all the touring you be doing, it's going to be real big for you all. Look, guys, and girl, you all are going to do big things here. And I want to see you get the attention and fame you deserve. It'll be nice having some fresh blood around here because it's getting a little stale with all these, I don't know, wannabe rappers and pop stars trying to make their mark. Trust me, if you sign with us today, you'll never regret it. All right, okay. I think you've heard enough to make a decision. Yeah. All right, band huddle. All right, what do you guys have to say? <laughs> <laughs>